Well, I picked up a body for my 1919 chassis. This is a 26 TT cab and a T bed on what I believe is a TT frame turned into a cart. Based on my research, Ford didn't officially make a factory closed cab pickup for the T's like they did for the A's, where the A and the AA cab is the same. Model T pickups were all roadsters. The TT's had the closed cab. I'm going to make it work, though, and it'll be a nice complement to my Model A pickup and my 41 pickup. It's a shortened TT chassis, in my opinion. I'm not an expert. They cut off the front of it, made some modifications, broke that front member, broke the brace of the front member then. So they converted it into a wagon. It actually steers, and it that makes it really annoying to back up. Um, I fought with this quite a bit. It's like trying to push a rope. It just uh, doesn't go where you want it to go. It's homemade center beam that they welded the wishbone to, possibly. Um, going back to the rear end. Lots of farm repairs on this one. The chassis in the rear end, I'd like to get to a good home. Someone restoring a TT, since I already have a chassis. Don't know what this wheel is, it's pretty cool. Probably keep that. I like this view, I think it's pretty funny. But what's pretty cool is the old Coke sign that's the roof. I'm going to keep that. I'll make it a little more watertight, but I'm definitely going to keep that. Got part of a seat frame. I believe in the seat frame there's a, maybe a little toolbox that goes under it. That's what that piece is up there, I think. Only while I was giving this walk around was I starting to appreciate that it has two doors. It's not just a Model T style passenger door situation. Wasn't able to open the doors, um, not from the inside either. The outside handles are both broken off. I at least have the pieces of the passenger side, but not this. I recently picked up some gauges, so now I know where they'll go. This also came with half of the glass for the windshield, but I have that somewhere safer right now. Got a seat frame. It's only resting on the frame by that one cross member, so I'd like to get it off here soon to not stress that too much. The back of the cab, uh, very similar, if not the same as my Model A. Here's the T-bed. It's pretty small, but it's got that charm to it. Here's some details of the TT frame, TT rear end, big worm drive. Some really funky looking wheels I haven't investigated fully yet. Um, yeah, I just, that's uh, unusual looking to me. Maybe that's TT or AA or something homemade. Don't know yet, not an expert. Came with a free piece of a tree. There's still that grease cap under there, though. This tailgate, I don't believe was originally with this bed, but it's nice to have a tailgate for it. Again, a funky wheel. Um, original or not, I don't know. I don't even know how it's held on there, if there's no lugs or nuts or studs. Also came with part of a tree. That's a nice free bonus. Didn't have to pay extra. This one has a nice uh, grease cap. So I've got a couple Model T springs now, not necessarily with even these T's that I bought recently, but got them on other deals. This one actually looks pretty decent. So here's the 1919 chassis. Doesn't really have a leaf spring. It has some one coil spring for something. But I'll definitely be able to use a spring on the front end here and some perches to replace these uh, bolts. So I'll need a radiator possibly. I don't know if that other one is gonna be salvageable. I could use a hood, although I don't need one. I need a radiator shroud. And I'll need to figure out something with the rear ends because out of the three chassis that I have, which are all sitting next to each other right now, don't have like a complete Model T rear end. Might be hard to see here, but there's the three of them together that will become one. 